Unplugged fans. It's Enrico Nardini here with Play Unplugged TV. This episode, incredibly exciting episode, we're going to be doing another unboxing, and this one is one that I am pretty pumped about. It's the Army Painter Mega Paint Set. Now, for those of you not familiar with the Army Painter, Army Painter is a company whose their, uh, their core mission, what they do, is creating products to help uh, gamers, war, miniature war gamers, finish their armies. So this go would be along the lines of, this is one of their products that made them more famous is things like these quick shade dips and their color primers have made them a, a fairly famous company in miniature wargaming circles. But they also produce products that are just the simple get you by things that you need for doing the hobby, stuff like these metal clippers or say this paintbrush. Well, they have now produced a line of paints, a line of miniature paints, and this is their paint set. Uh, it retails, it's suggested retail price is $125, and inside you get 32 war paints, and that's the war paints are the regular, the, the colors that you paint with the acrylic paints, three quick shade inks, and the, th the three quick shade inks are supposed to be color matched to actually match the dips. If you paint using their system, if that's a, a, you know, a way you try to get your armies done, this is actually color matched with their dip so that you can touch it up. Uh, using the using the wa their uh, their washes their quick shade uh, inks, um, one bottle of anti shine varnish, and lastly six war uh, six miniature paintbrushes six uh, war gaming paintbrushes, and so this to me for 125 bucks it seems like a really great deal. Uh, you know, like when you think about you know buying paints. Um, they can get the miniature paint hobby. We, we all know these things can be very expensive, um, and it seems like a very solid deal for $125. Uh, we'll know more when I go and actually, you know, get really deep into it and start painting videos with it and write the review. But for right now, like I said, just on the surface impression for the unboxing, I mean, you just can't go wrong. It's a, it's a lot of paint for your money. Uh, so let's dig right in. I'm going to pull this plastic off here. And we're going to see what lurks inside. So, unwrapping it on the back, it's got shows all all the colors that you're going to get that come with it, um, and uh, oh yes, and also it includes this is really cool, nice extra. It includes the 24 page uh, Army Painter painting guide, which you may have seen. They've been distributing these in uh, in game stores, uh, and it's one of those things. It's a great paint guide. And when you think about the fact that it's free, full color, uh, just beautiful. Okay, so popping the box top off. And we've got some bubble wrap, and oh man, there's nothing like, <laughs> it's just so cool, digging into a big thing full of miniature paints. Okay, so I'm going to pull some of these out. They're in little bags. It looks like they're split into groups of threes. All right. I'm going to pull all these out, and then we'll take a look at some of the individuals. So here we go. All right, so now that we've got the contents out of the box, let's take a look at the different pieces. Now, the first thing... Um, you know, we can talk about is the Army Painter Wargamer's Army Painting Guide. This is something you may have seen already around your game stores. This is a, uh, a free booklet that they've been putting out. But um, though it is free to take uh, and, and probably a, a loss leader incentive to buying Army Painter products, it's, it is a tremendous resource. It's full color. It has uh, great instructions and little tutorials. Uh, and it's, it's just very well done and very well produced. And it's a great thing to just have. Uh, period in your you know in your painting collection it's another nice and you know it, it very well describes their particular method of painting using the quick shades um, a very nice book a very nice book for the miniature war gamer especially someone who's new to painting miniatures this is going to be very helpful to them another thing in here are the brushes and let's take a quick look at these brushes so we've got a we've got a vehicle terrain brush this is like a large dry brush style brush it's got a flat head there's this smaller dry brush. This is the small dry brush. And it's, it's an interesting dry brush because it actually has the angled head, the angled brush head. So it's flat, but it's uh, on an angle. We've got a hobby highlighting brush. This is like a small brush. Now this one's different. It's got a different handle. This is like a, a this one has a, a red handle that's like thinner. It doesn't have the ones that are these brushes that are kind of they have the triangular shape handles. And these three, which are the Wargamer Regiment, Character, 
and insane detail respectively these are uh, your more of your standard style brushes they have like standard brush tips and they um, they they go down in size regiment character insane detail um, and they have this really nice triangular grip which makes it kind of ergonomic for your hand making it easier uh, to apply the paint so pretty nice pretty nice now, of course, the main event here is the paints, and there are a ton of them. So let, um, let me just start pulling some of these out here. The, one of the first things is the way this is organized is actually really nice. Each one of these bottles of paint, and they're large, you're getting uh, 18 milliliters of paint in here, or 0.6 fluid ounces, a nice size paint bottle. Um, and so each one of these uh, the bottle cap actually can tell you kind of what is going on with the paint. So these white ones are, are the actual paints. So you know, bottles that have that, that cap. But there are some other caps. And so if you have these ones that are black, here are the metallics. So this is, for example, this says weapon bronze. That's their bronze color. Uh, so if you find, you know, if you if you if you're looking at your for your paints up, the ones with the black caps, those are the metallics. And then lastly, the quick shade inks, the ones that are color matched, as I said before, to match the quick shades. These are done with a red cap, which I think is just a really nice touch. You kind of boom. I can look and see exactly what I'm pulling out. Um, paints, metallics, washes. Okay, great. Got, got all that stuff done. Now. One other thing that's really neat about these, um, and like I said, we can talk more about this in the, I'll talk more about this in the review, uh, but one other thing about these is really neat is the, uh, that these are supposed to be 100% color matched to the primers. So for example, this is Barbarian Flesh, and it says the ones that are color matched actually say 100% match, and they're named the same color as the actual spray. So when you're, the, one of the things this is gonna allow you to do is it's going to allow you to when you inevitably when you're spraying figures now there's a couple tricks and um this might be something we could even cover in a video at some point there are a couple tricks to when you're spraying your figures to try to get as much primer on them so there's very few recesses but inevitably with detailed miniatures there are always going to be cracks and crevices that you're not going to get your primer into and the thing that's great about these are you're not going to be messing around trying to figure out how to color match the color sprays so let's say you're doing like some Celts and most of the model is flesh and you want to save some time so you're spray coating them with a um, army painter spray barbarian flesh boom i need to go back and touch anything up to make sure it's solid base coat over everything i can go in and say up oh, here's my barbarian flesh it's got the same name and it's 100 percent matte to that paint so the whole system kind of works is supposed to work together which i think is just incredibly clever uh if it of course you know if it all works out but i think it's you know it's incredibly clever um, lastly, the only thing that I didn't include, so here's some more just, you know, just to give you the, another, these ones, let's say 100% match, things like Alien Purple, Uniform Gray, um, I'm sure they have one for Angel Green, that's another spray, and there was another, there's a really good, um, there's a green spray that I love, it's in here somewhere, um, Army Green, yeah, love that spray, and so boom, right again, once again, Army Green paint. Okay. So lastly though, there is also this anti-shine varnish and this is going to give you, you know, the, the, this is a brush on matte coat to give it the, to take the shine off, especially if you're using something like a quick shade, which is going to give it a gloss coat finish. You want to take that glossy shine off uh, with something like this. And it's nice to have, you know, they make an anti-shine spray or you might use a tester's dull coat or whatever, but it's really nice to have some matte varnish in a bottle. So this, having this thrown in there, great um all in all on the surface just looking at this stuff that you get in the box this seems like a really really great value um and it's just great looking product and i love you know like i said i love the organization that they kind of give you with the bottles and things like that and uh we'll be cracking these open and painting some models and so you should look out for a review coming soon for the army painter paint sets uh and the war paints Please look for that review coming soon on playonplug.com. Make sure you like us on Facebook. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. All that great social media stuff, you can find that right on the website, www.playonplug.com. And thanks for watching.